Introduce yourself, please. My name is Mark Stuckey. I'm an engineering test pilot with Scaled Composites. This is our Proteus aircraft. It specializes in doing high altitude research. It can carry pods, uh, carry equipment internally, or be used as a target for all kinds of different agencies and whatever customers need high altitude flight research. So it's not just a commercial aircraft then? It's uh, leased to the military perhaps? Uh, we, we don't lease it, but they can hire us to do missions for them. So. And this looks like something out of space age. Uh, how old is this technology? A couple of years old? Or? This was built in the uh, mid-1990s and it was designed to basically function as a low altitude satellite to broadcast high-speed internet to cities. Uh, that technology advanced so they didn't need an airplane to do uh, DSL or broadband, but it's one of those things where if you build it, they will come. We've had a continuous stream of customers ever since that need the, that want a platform that can economically check out or, or test uh, new technologies for them. So you must be very fortunate to work for Scale Composites who are always thinking eons ahead of everybody. I am. It's, it's a blast because we're always doing something new. Uh, even if it's the same airplane, we'll have a new project every month or every couple months. So it's, it's a lot of fun seeing what comes up next. And you do pilot this aircraft? Yes, I do. And um, what's your impression of it? I'm sure you've flown all kinds of other aircraft. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had a lucky career. I've flown a, a big mix of aircraft. Uh, all the scaled composites aircraft are unique in their own ways. But they, they all do the mission real well, and uh, it's a joy to fly up high. It's, it's a lot easier than, say, U-2 to fly up at maximum altitude. Is this something you've flown? I, I have flown a U-2. And the last question, what brings you out to here to the LA uh, County Air Show? Showing off our airplane. Showing off your toy, and meeting huh? the people. And uh, boy, I was certainly uh, sad to hear that um, um, Mr. Rattan retired. I don't think that should be legal. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, he, he certainly earned it though. Uh, nobody worked as hard as, as uh, Bert did, and uh, he still is uh, involved in some of our projects. And comes back every once in a while, and we brief him and let him know what we're doing and get his advice. Thank you so much for your time.